Good day, and welcome to the start of a series of walkthrough videos by Clippa. My name is Jeroen, and I'm the CTO of Clippa. Today I will show you how easy it is to integrate our OCR API. Our OCR API is a document data extraction API, which means it's able to convert an image or a PDF of a document into text and read the information from it in a structured way, like extracting the invoice number and date from an invoice. Our system currently supports receipts, invoices, passports, and driver's licenses. But if you need support for any document type, please contact us and we will see what we can do for you. First, let's have a look at the documentation. Our OCR API documentation is at custom-ocr.clippa.com slash docs. As you can see, we use the open API specification format, which was previously known as Swagger, to generate the documentation for our API. This is automatically generated from our code, which means that anytime we update the API, this documentation is also updated. We also generated a few API clients for you in a few different languages. These are also automatically updated when we update the API. You can also generate your own clients by using the Swagger CodeGen. Swagger CodeGen has a, a support for a lot of different languages as you can see here. And inside these languages, they also have some different flavors like jQuery and Angular for TypeScript. If you scroll down in the documentation, first you will see the error codes. We will return one of these error codes when something goes wrong while we are parsing your document. If you scroll down more, you will see all the API endpoints that are available in the API. On the right side, you will see an example of the output, what you can expect when you call this API endpoint. If you scroll down more, you get the more important calls like parsing in the document. On the right side, you see all the fields that we return when we parse your documents. And on the left side, you can see what input we expect from you. The only field that is required is a document or a URL, all the other fields are optional. Now it's time to show you the OCR demo page. The OCR demo page allows you to test the OCR API without doing any programming. The only thing you need is an API key. You can get this API key by contacting support. The OCR demo page is available on test.custom-ocr.clippa.com. When you enter your API key into this form and press continue, you will be able to select a template and a file. If you select your file and press process file, the file will be sent to the server and it will be parsed directly. It will take a few seconds and after that you will have your result on the left side, which is the plain text of the document. In the middle you will have your JSON output, which is the output format of the API. And on the right side you will see a formatted table of the output, which is extracted from the JSON. You can see that we extracted a lot of information like the amount, VAT and purchase date. We also got a lot of different information about the merchant like the name and the VAT number. If there are any fields that are important to you that are missing from this list and you want us to extract them, please contact support and we can look into if we can extract them for you. As you could see, the document extraction was directly on the server. We do not store any documents on the server. If you're looking for another solution where you can send us a batch of documents and we process them one by one and you can come back later for the result, we have a different solution for that and we will come back to that in a different video. Let's get to the more technical side of things. The cool thing about the Open API specification format that is supported by a lot of different tools like Postman. Postman allows you to import the Open API specification. So if you go to import, import from link and enter the link to the API documentation there. You can select generate a Postman collection only and you will see on the left side it has imported all the API calls. Now let's say that we want to see how many credits we have left in our API key account. We open the endpoint, enter our API key in the params, press send and we will directly get the result from the API how many credits we have left and how many we have available. We can also do more advanced stuff like parsing actual documents. When we open the parse document folder we set two templates. We use the financial template for now because we have an invoice. Open the endpoint call, enter your API key and adjust the body. We only need the document field for now, so we disable the other fields and select file here, so that we can select the file on our file system. We press send and we get the same result as we get on the demo page, but this time we only have the JSON. Now we get to the fun part, actually calling the API from Go. Because I love Go, we'll create a Go demo project. 
I already downloaded the Go example client from the documentation. So now I'm going to create a new package into a project called Clippa OCR API and extract the downloaded client into that folder. As you can see, the Clippa OCR API folder is now filled with the client. What we need next is a main file. So we start create a new file called main.go, change the package name to main and add a main function. This function will be run when we run the file. So for example, we can add a hello world in here and run the file. As you can see, it says hello world. What we're gonna do next is import the Clipper OCR API package, which we'll do like this. To call the API client, we need a configuration, which you can do by calling Clipper OCR API new configuration. This configuration needs to be passed to the client. So now we can create a new client with Clipper OCR API new API client and pass the configuration to it. Now let's say that we want to extract the amount of credits that we have left from the API. We can use the client information API for that. It has a function called credit. If we pass a background context to it and the API key, we will have a credit response and of course a possible error when something goes wrong. What we can do is extract the amount of credits that we have and the amount of credits that we used and combine them to calculate the amount that we have left. So what we will do now is log how many we have left. So what we do is the last param is subtract the amount of used credits from the amount of available credits. So when we use this script, we run it and we'll call the API and we'll return how many credits we have left. So we have 88 credits left now. What we want to do next is actually parse the file. So what we're going to do now is open the file that we want to parse, which you can do like this in Go. It's really simple, you pass a fault plot here. If something goes wrong, always check it. And then you can call the parsing API, which has a parse document. You can also pass the context and background here and the API key. What we'll need next is the input document. So we add the param here, got clipper OCR API dot parse document opts. What kind of fields are in there are the same that you can enter in Postman, but we're only gonna pass the document for now. So we say here document optional new interface and pass the file to that. What we can now show you is the information that's on the document.
So when we run this code now, it will open the document, send it to the API, parse it, and it will return to us what's on the document. So here we only use the amount field, the merchant name, and the purchase date, but of course there's a lot of more information inside here. When you click on the property, you can see all the different properties that are inside with the documentation about what you can expect in that field. Well, that was it for today. If you have any questions, please contact us. We're happy to help you out with the API integration and good luck.